From the game Pitch Storm that we have here, uh, we're going to present you with a few character descriptions and plot lines. And we'd like to see what movies come to mind. I'm going to read a few. Uh, the first one is character. And the character trait is a journalist on the trail of a huge story. First thing you can in mind, spotlight. Spotlight. Uh, let's see what else. All the President's Men. The Post. Oh, the Julie Roberts movie. Oh, my God. What is the heck is his name of it? Pelican Brief or no? No, that's different. No, I was thinking uh, Aaron Brockovich. Okay, yeah, great. so those 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 would be the ones that come to mind for that. Right. State of Play. Did you see that, Russell? Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. That was so good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah it was. That was good. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Love it. Um, here is another uh, character, a suave art thief. <laughs> Oceans movie. <laughs> Doesn't matter which one. Um, Mordecai, can I say Mordecai? As as weird as that sounds, uh, I would say Mordecai. And Ocean's 11, 12, 13, 1700. Uh, <laughs> art movies. Oh, Da Vinci Code. Bean. There you go. Bean. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Did you see American Animals? My, yes. But I would never have thought of that. You would never thought of that. I would have never have thought of that. I don't know how suave they were, but yeah, it was still But I would have never thought of that. Okay. I love I that saw movie. that at Sundance, too. Oh, I love that film. Yeah. It's so great. Okay. Um, a fiery young rapper on their way to fame. Eight Mile. Done. No, no, I really don't have any other answers besides that. Eight Mile. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, all right. A troubled kid with supernatural abilities. Spider-Man, Batman, Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh my God! Powder. Powder. It's going back. That, to that that's going back a ways. That director <laughs> got canceled, by the way. You can't you can't like okay. Powder anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. Because it's the same director who did Jeepers Creepers. I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, Sean Patrick Flannery was excellent. <laughs> that, so he was great. He was fantastic. You're not allowed. You're not okay, allowed to I can like, like Sean though. Yeah, okay. yeah, yes. We'll move on now to uh, plot. Okay. With our little game here, and here we go. Battles, corruption, and the greeting card industry. <laughs> oh my God. Is that, that's not, no, I don't. I know what the movie is, but I can't think of it. I'm gonna have to pass. Okay, I can't name it either, I don't know. It doesn't have the answer on the back? No, it, it doesn't. Oh my it God. Doesn't. I was like, I'm like, <laughs> there is a movie that is about greeting cards and I'm like trying to think where it is where like all the writers are sitting in the room thinking about greeting cards and I cannot remember what, for the life of me what that movie is. Okay. okay. Well, so hopefully in the comments, someone can um, yes. put the right one. Okay. Races around the world in a hot air balloon. Around the world in 80 days. Done. That's, that's the only one I could think of. Okay. Um, is mistakenly sent to heaven. Kenny at the, at the end of the South Park movie? Um, <laughs> Oh, what was that other one? Wasn't there? There's a Chris Rock movie that I can't remember the title of, but there was a Down to Earth, right? It's down to Earth? I, mean, I guess that's the opposite. So it, it, he didn't get sent to heaven. He came down to Earth. Um, but yeah. There's a John Travolta movie too, I think. Oh, yes. Michael. Yeah. Michael, okay. Michael, yeah, Michael, yeah, Michael, yeah. Michael. Yes. He's like the sort of the, yeah. the, the snarky angel. That's yeah. right. That was good. in the 90s. Yep. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, my, some of my references are going back a few years here, but okay. Goes undercover in the world of hip hop culture. Twenty One Jump Street, I guess both of those. Twenty One Jump Street, Twenty Two Jump Street. Oh my God, there was that terrible Jamie 
movie most America's Most Wanted or Most Wanted? I don't remember. Jimmy Kennedy movie from like the late 90s. Um, I feel like there was a parody movie about this as well. Dance flick or something? I don't know. Okay. I couldn't name one. So <laughs> you're doing better than I am. Okay. Competes in a deadly reality TV competition. First movie that comes to mind is uh, God Bless America. Second one was, I think it's called Series 7, The Contenders. I mean, Squid Game, of course, comes to mind now, even though it's not really the same. And so does Hunger Games, even though they're not really the same. And, of course, Battle Royale. Um, but that's it. Okay. Here's another. Discovers a dangerous secret at a popular new theme park. <laughs> uh, Escape from Tomorrowland. Remember that movie? Oh. <laughs> that was the undercover uh, Disney movie that they did. It was a big thing at Sundance. They went into Disneyland and they filmed the entire movie with like portable ha um, camcorders and they told some kind of story around it. It was like all the like the dark secrets of like Disneyland. It's a very bizarre movie. I did not like it. But it, it, it always sticks in my mind. Whenever someone says something about amusement parks, that one always comes to my mind. And I did like the horror movie that was at Six Flags. I can't remember the heck the name of that was. It came out a couple of years ago. Fright Night, maybe Fright Night, Fright Night. Something else, I can't remember. Okay. Discovers the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> Keanu Reeves movie. Um, I feel like multiple ones from like the 90s. <laughs> Cocoon. Cocoon. Again, yes. going back a few years. Oh my gosh. That, wow, that's a tough one. No, I can't think of anything else. Yeah. Um, well, oh, no big. That's not really the fountain of youth. No. Because, yeah, that's, no. that's not it, but okay. Freaky Friday, if you're going to go that route, I mean, no. Nah. Searches for peace in a dangerous radioactive wasteland. Toxic Avenger. <laughs> there you go. One for all the cult favorites. Fighting against evil robots that look like people. AI. Immediately comes to mind. Is iRobot also qualify for that? I guess so. And then... That's it. Yeah, because, I mean, it, it's, it wouldn't be chappy. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, yeah. He was, yeah. Too, he was way too nice. Yeah, way too nice. Sweet guy. 